Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Boys channel. My name is Tim, and I am here with a Funko Pop haul. So I just wanted to kind of show off all the Funko Pops that I have accumulated within the past couple of months. Um, there were some pre-orders here that I did, and then there was one that is a very special pop from a good friend. So I will be showing that. So uh, I'll start off with Disney because I only have a couple of Disney ones. This is the first one. It is the from Pocahontas Miko with Flit box lunch exclusive for Earth Day. Um, so the box is very like recyclable and it has like that same kind of Earth Day vibe that the Eve and Wally ones had from the previous years. This one's super adorable. Miko looks so cute and he again is eating. I believe the last Funko that they made of him he was eating also which is funny and then I love that Flit's there. Um, they're just a really cute duo together. Yeah I'm very very excited that we got this because you can never have too many Mikos. Okay, next, uh, I don't have the box for this one because I did buy it off of eBay after um, watching one of our favorite channels, um, Diz Family Adventures. Lauren showed her Funko Pop collection. I'll link that up above and down below. But she did show that she had this guy from Frozen, the villain. Um, I think his name is marshmallow but yeah i just thought this was super cute and i got it for a pretty good price on ebay so the details on this are awesome and i just love how clean all the edges are and i love the teeth how you could kind of like put something inside if you want it if you were like playing with this so yeah i knew i had to have this so excited about that all right, so my last Disney one out of this haul is one that was gifted to me by my good friend Katie. So thank you so much, Katie. Um, she saw me post this on my Instagram story and she was like, oh, I have that. Do you want it? And I was like, oh my God, I was looking for it. Yes, please. And um, she ended up gifting this to me, which was very nice. I was going to pay for it, but she kind of said it didn't go with her collection anymore. So it's from The Rescuers, and it's Orville acting as an airplane. And you have Miss Bianca and Bernard in the little sardine cans. And it's awesome that she actually gave me this box because that's so stunning. His wings actually come on and off, which is nice. And then you have his cute little glasses and the detail with all of these belt buckles and stuff. And then on the back you have their little suitcases and a little match container. And they really did a cute job on these. So yeah, I was so, so, happy to be gifted this so thank you so much Katie um, it's definitely gonna go with our other pop ride Funkos and that was actually one that was released years ago in the Funko treasures box that they no longer do so um, yeah that was an awesome awesome gift so the next one we've actually been accumulating quite a lot of the Office Funkos and GameStop has been doing some exclusive onlys for this TV show, The Office. And oh my god, I was so excited they came out with one of my favorite characters. This is the Stanley Hudson on Pretzel Day Funko. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on Pretzel Day, 
Well, I like pretzel day. They are coming out with some, I believe, in early June of like Casual Friday. I know Meredith, Kelly Kapoor, I think there's another Stanley. So yeah, let me know if you guys collect any of the Office Funkos and what is your favorite one. I love how they kind of got his, uh, I'm overworking face. He has his pretzel and then he always has his crossword puzzle in his hands. And you could just hear him say, no. <laughs> so this is awesome. I'm super excited to add this to our collection. I did have these two pre-ordered as well from GameStop and it is a duo and I'm so excited because this is one of my absolute, absolute favorite movies. I still quote it all the time, constantly. Duh. Romy and Michelle from Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. Best, best movie ever. Um, let me know what your favorite quote from that movie is. So of course you have them in their awesome outfits that they make after they're done with the post-its. So it's just them two. Here is Romy first. She has her sassy pose and she has the A on her. And I love that they actually got the bracelet that she puts on her upper arm because I always notice that in the movie. And her hair looks very pretty, and her shoes that are the same shoes that she walks on the treadmill with. And then, of course, you have Michelle, which is my favorite character out of this movie. They did a good job on her details, on her bracelets, and her purse, and her earrings. And I love her hair, how it's kind of like a high pony at the top and the detail what they did with that. Next we have another pair that I actually pre-ordered from GameStop. I did not collect this whole series. It is one of my favorite favorite shows but the way that they did some of the designs on the male characters like you can't tell them from Adam. You know, they don't look like anything specifically. If I just saw them by themselves, I would have no idea that they're from Will and Grace. So I did get Karen and Grace from Will and Grace. And these are all of the characters. So you could kind of see what I'm talking about. Like Will's just like in a suit with like a mug. And then Jack's doing his like just Jack thing, but like... He's just like in jeans and I don't know, there's no really good details on him that, you know, are that specific where you would know automatically it's from this. But I like how the boxes have like the New York backdrop. So this is Grace. Um, I got her because she's holding some folders that say Grace Adler Interior Designs. She has one of her outfits on that I'm sure Karen ripped her a new one about. <laughs> and I like what they did with her hair. It's classic Grace. And this one I love. You have Karen Walker hair. And she has, of course, a martini glass in her hand. She has her bling on her wedding ring and her earrings and necklace. And of course her heels. She has her classic Karen suit on and with her hairstyle. I was expecting those to come out when the Friends ones did kind of and when they didn't I was kind of sad so I decided to make my own Will and Grace Funkos. So I'll insert a picture here of what I made. So basically I just kind of took characters that were made already and like popped a head on a different figure that kind of looked like what I thought they would look like. So I still think that my boys of them are better than what they created. Okay, so I do have three more and then I have one that John bought. So I'm gonna show this one first. This is an ad icon 
And this is a box lunch exclusive. It is a diamond collection of the Morton Salt Girl. So this one I just thought was so cute and I loved what they did with the glitter, like when they made her salt come out. Um, I wasn't going to get this one originally, but then I, when they said that there was going to be a diamond version, I was like, okay, I gotta get it. I really love how they made the salt glisten with the glitter and her hair looks so amazing. And I love the umbrella detail. We don't have any Funkos with umbrellas besides, I think, Mary Poppins, but it's not out. So yeah, I really like the details on this one. Number 84, wow. They made a lot of ad icons, apparently, that we don't have. <laughs> so I have another one that is an ad icon. I did miss out on this one when it kind of came out. So this is the Dr. Pepper Little Sweets. <laughs> Dr. Pepper exclusive, and that is the box. But I was just looking on eBay the other day and I saw this going for a very reasonable price. So I was like, hey, I like Justin Guarini. I like these commercials. Dr. Pepper is my favorite soda, so why not? So I like how they made his hair very detailed and his facial hair looks actually really funny. I love that they made his kind of like dog tag necklace, but with the pop soda tab toppers. And then you have your Diet Dr. Pepper. It says, you deserve this. I do. So this is a fun one to add. So this is 79 in the ad icons. So. All right, so the last one I had that I got was Marilyn Monroe from the pop icons. So this one's really pretty. You have her sewer crate look, and then on the back of the box you have her signature and that iconic picture. So if you guys have seen our Hot Hollywood Funko tour and haul video, um, we did get a Marilyn already. I'll link that above if you haven't seen it. That one was the kind of like award show Marilyn where she's in white and she has glasses on. This one I knew they were going to come out with and I was super excited to get it. I love what they did with her dress obviously blowing up and they put her mole in the right place. Her face actually looks like her and her hair is stunning. I really, really like what they did with her hair. And yeah, when you look at this, you definitely think of Marilyn Monroe. So I'm excited that they made this one. All right, and then the last one I'm showing is one that John made. You could see how much he purchases, not that much. So he did get this from X-Men, this is Gambit. And I guess this is a new one that just came out this year. And then this is Marvel, and this is the boxes that you got. So I actually did just get him the Rogue Pop. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above. But um, to go with Rogue Pop, he really wanted Gambit. So this is him up close. I really like what they did with um, the pink, I think it's goo, and then he has an ace in his hand. And um, all of these X-Men ones are actually bobbleheads, so that's kind of, I don't really love that, but they got his outfit right. Yeah, so that is my haul from the last few weeks slash months. Um, I just wanted to open these up. I don't know if we're going to have room for them because we do need another. We use baseball bat display cases from Michaels and um, we couldn't really get to Michaels obviously for the quarantine and shipping one of those. The shipping is like $16 alone. So we're gonna wait till we could get to a store so we could pick up another one. Let me know what you guys do with your Funkos if you display them in box or on a shelf or whatever you do. We kind of have, you know, some in our background. We have all of the rest of them in the cases and then we have some in our villain bathroom. But yeah, let me know what your favorite Funko Pop 
that you saw here is if you're not a subscriber be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and I hope you guys all have a good day. Alright, bye.